Hello everyone, in today's video, we will talk about intermittent fasting, a method of eating that alternates between fasting and eating periods. This method aims to starve the body long enough to trigger fat burning systematically. Although research is still underway, there is evidence that intermittent fasting, when done correctly, can help lose weight, lower blood pressure, and cholesterol, prevent or control diabetes, and improve brain health. So, let's understand how this works. During a meal, carbohydrates in food are broken down into glucose, which is absorbed into the bloodstream and transported to various organs, serving as the major energy source. Excess glucose is stored as glycogen and fats for later use in the liver and adipose tissue. In between meals, when the body is in the fasted state, the liver converts glycogen back to glucose to keep supplying the body with energy. Typically, an inactive person takes about 10 to 12 hours to use up the glycogen stores, although someone who exercises may do so in much less time. Once the glycogen reserve in the liver is depleted, the body taps into energy stores in adipose tissues. This is when fats are broken down into free fatty acids, then converted into additional metabolic fuel in the liver. Thus, if the fasted state lasts long enough, the body burns fat for energy and loses that extra fat. Losing the extra fat is translated into a range of associated health benefits. Constant high insulin levels may desensitize body tissues, causing insulin insensitivity, the hallmark of prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. Fasting helps keep insulin levels low, reducing diabetes risks. Fasting also has a beneficial effect on the brain. It challenges the brain the same way physical or cognitive exercise does. It promotes the production of neurotrophic factors, which support the growth and survival of neurons. However, fasting is not for everyone. Among those who should not attempt fasting are children and teens, pregnant or breastfeeding women, people with eating disorders, type 1 diabetes, advanced diabetes, or some other medical problems, and people who are underweight or frail. Fasting can also be unsafe if overdone or not done correctly. So, how can you incorporate intermittent fasting into your lifestyle? There are several approaches to intermittent fasting, but the easiest to achieve is perhaps the one that simply extends the usual nighttime fast. A daily cycle of a 16-hour fast followed by an 8-hour eating window is usually sustainable. For intermittent fasting to be safe and effective, it must be combined with balanced meals that provide good nutrition. It is important to stay hydrated and know your physical limits while fasting. The fast must be broken slowly, and overeating after the fast, especially of unhealthy foods, must be avoided. Fasting can also help improve insulin sensitivity, which is an important factor in developing type 2 diabetes. By reducing insulin resistance, the body can better regulate blood sugar levels and maintain overall metabolic health. In addition to its metabolic benefits, intermittent fasting may also positively affect brain function. Some studies have suggested that fasting can promote the growth of new brain cells and improve cognitive function. In conclusion, intermittent fasting can be a safe and effective method of losing weight, improving health, and reducing the risk of certain diseases. However, it is important to understand that fasting is not for everyone and must be done correctly. So, consult with your healthcare provider before starting any fasting regimen, and remember to listen to your body and make adjustments as needed. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video was informative. For more informational videos, please subscribe to Slim Spirit. Thank you.